And my, my feeling has been all along that all the work, all the effort that we put into this, if it saves just one life, how do you put a price on that? Well, that gun developer is talking about what may be the handgun of the future. Personalized smart guns may soon be hitting U.S. store shelves after being stalled for years. They're designed to only allow designated owners to use them through fingerprint identification. Fox 43's Rich Yankunas reveals how they work and why the new technology may be critical at a time when gun violence is spiking. Ginger Chandler fires what you would normally see in Hollywood movies, a personalized smart gun that can only be fired by authorized users. The technology verifies a user's identity in one of three ways. A fingerprint. I can show that it unlocked. A pin pad on the handgun. And it indicated that I did it wrong and it didn't unlock. So that says if somebody else picks up your firearm, they can't do it. Or an app. It's kind of like a fail safe last thing. If your phone's not near you though. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Once I'm, once I've registered, I would always use the biometric because it's fast and it was designed to unlock immediately. These smart guns are developed by Pennsylvania company Lodestar Works. Co-founder and CEO Gareth Glasser was inspired after hearing too many stories of children children killed in accidental shootings. I identified a, that technology could be could be helpful. And then I thought, well, where's the technology? It's been around for, the idea's been around for 25 years. What do you say to people who are worried about their gun getting hacked? Nothing's perfect, nothing's perfect. In the case of our product though, one thing we're looking at is to actually enhance the encryption. Advocates see smart guns as a game changer in addressing gun violence in cities like Harrisburg. Fox 43 reveals that there have been more than 100 incidents of gun violence in the city since January, including eight homicides. Harrisburg police have taken 47 illegal guns off the streets so far this year. What do you think is maybe causing that spike in gun violence in Harrisburg? I can say the uh, six, seven years I've been uh, up in the detective division supervising detectives, this is not the first time. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably not the, the last time in you know, the history of the city of Harrisburg that we'll have this. How are criminals getting their hands on illegal guns? Uh, there's various ways. Some of the firearms that we recover, uh, we determined that they were stolen in a burglary uh, and they're filtered into the city. Police are also dealing with another problem, privately made firearms or ghost guns being used in crimes. Fox 43 reveals that Pennsylvania recovers the second highest number of ghost guns in the country. In 2021, ATF provided new guidance for tracing these guns. As a result, they recovered and traced nearly a thousand ghost guns statewide, a 240% jump from 2020. The idea of smart guns is not new, it has been around, so it makes you strongly believe that this is the technology and the prototype that we have been missing. The technology improvement and the attitude and experience like the ginger has, and my, my feeling has been all along that all the work, all the effort that we put into this, if it saves just one life, how do you put a price on that? Glasser expects the Lodestar smart gun will be available to consumers by early 2023. I asked about the possibility of retrofitting this technology on existing firearms. You can see his response on Fox43.com. Fox43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. If you have a topic you want us to investigate, send me an email at Fox43reveals at Fox43.com.